Hey guys, Butler Bulldog Bill, and I apologize, it's been about three weeks since my last video. Um, basically, what I'm here to talk about today is my goofy hair. And right now it's kind of weighted down and it looks darker than the actual color than what it is, of what it is. But uh, today I am doing something I have not done since late October, and that is go to get a haircut. Now, my fiance, my family, they've all been on me to go get my stinking haircut. They're all traditionalists. They don't like hair, you know, this long on a guy. They like it pretty darn short, you know, like 1950 style. So, going to get my haircut today, and um, I guess uh, before. I'll show you the, what I look like afterwards. I'm going to go in there in a second. Old school barber shop. That's the kind of guy I am when I get my hair cut. Um, but I've got a nice story for you um, about my hair. I was in a gas station last week off the highway here in town. And it was, yeah, it was last Friday. And I'm, I'm at the gas pump and I'm just pumping gas, you know, minding my own business. Then a car pulls up and there's like four college age girls in this car and there's like a Michigan license plate on the car there's a, a University of Michigan sticker on the car so they're obviously uh, Michigan Wolverine students and these four girls all get out of the car which I think is a little bit weird because I'm like does it take four girls to pump gas I don't know if they were just trying to you know they got tired of sitting and they all want to get out and you know walk around or whatever but anyway I'm just sitting there and I'm or I'm just standing there and I'm just pumping my gas minding my own business and then uh, I'm starting to hear some giggling going on and out of the corner of my eye I look and I see they're all staring at me and of course I get a little you know embarrassed because it reminds me of my elementary school days when I got picked on a lot um, but anyway I was a geek back then but anyway I get done I hurry up get done uh, pumping my gas and it feels like it's taking forever because these girls just keep laughing at me and are giggling and looking at me and all this other crap so I get done pumping and I head straight to my car to get in and drive off well as, as I'm getting into my car these girls are like hey wait 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 we want to get a picture with you and at that point I'm going uh, okay why in the world do you want to get a picture with me I don't even know you and they're like, well, because you look like Andy Samberg, and we're huge Andy Samberg fans. We've got his Lonely Island CDs. We've got, uh, you know, we love SNL. We love the movies that he's been in. We're just big Andy Samberg fans, and we want to get a picture with you. And I thought this was really weird, but it's not the first time anybody's ever told me I look like Andy Samberg. I've probably heard it a hundred times, you know, with my hair grown out like this, that I look like Andy Samberg. So I was just like... Andy Samberg, I, I, I'm not Andy Samberg, the picture's not going to mean a whole lot. And they said they didn't care that they would probably never meet Andy Samberg, and I was the closest thing to Andy Samberg that they'll ever meet, so they wanted to have a picture with me. So I agreed to do it, and I'm thinking, uh, you know, alright, now which one of you is going to take the picture? Well, instead, this is, this is great, they go and find a woman at another gas pump, bring her on over, and she takes the picture while I've got two girls, two good looking girls by the way, on each side of me, so four total. And they've got their arms around me and I've got my arms around them, like, you know, that kind of crap. And they're making these goofy faces that girls do and they're like, hey, you need to make a Andy Samberg face. So I, I don't know what I did and probably something really, really stupid ago. I don't know. Anyway, so I made the face we got the picture they said thank you they got back in as they're getting back into their car um, they hurry up and put on a CD a Lonely Island CD and they drive off singing out the window basically yelling at me the song like a boss and <laughs> it was just weird because everybody else at all the other gas pumps are just kind of staring at them at me and I'm quite embarrassed because of you know the scene that's taking place but anyway that's just my funny story about what happened with this goofy hair that I have um, like I said right now it looks darker and a little more flattened out because I put the water in it to help out the barber when I get in there because um, it looks like clown hair if I don't so I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna go get my hair cut and uh, you will get to see what I look like with it really short I'm going with a fade cut you know about an inch on the side no sideburns no bangs um, maybe an inch and a half on top so you know, this is 
short as I ever get it cut. So it'll take another, you know, nine months for me to grow it out to the way it is now. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I got the hair cut and um, ended up changing shirts because I had hair all over the place. Um, ended up keeping a little bit of the sideburns and a little bit of the bangs, but it just seemed like it looked better and it did. So, um, probably look like a completely different person, at least I think so. But, um, so mission accomplished, got the hair cut, and now I can wait another eight months to go cut it again. So, anyway, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.